Hey guys, Baron here, back with another LEGO review. Today we're going to be looking at a LEGO Star Wars set. This is set number 75038. This is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Let's take a look at it. Alright, this set uh, came out in 2014 as part of the uh, Star Wars line. Uh, this set contained 223 pieces. And this is the uh, ship that Anakin is flying at the beginning of Episode 3. Uh, the uh, little scene there right at the beginning when uh, him and Obi-Wan are flying through uh, when they swoop down onto the battlefield in the very beginning. Um, we'll take a look uh, first at just the minifigures. Uh, first off, we have uh, Anakin. This is, uh, like I said, the uh, Episode 3 style Anakin. Um, he has... The uh, kind of longer hair style. Also, uh, he has the printed uh, headset on him from when he's flying in the ship. And uh, also, uh, of course, his uh, blue lightsaber. And uh, he, he also has the bionic hand here, the black bionic hand. And then also, it's a little bit hard to tell, but uh, he's got the darker... Uh, brown style Jedi robes. You know, this is the uh, 2014 version. You know, it's a, a new printing as of this set. Next up we have uh, R2-D2. This is also a uh, new printing as of this set. I really, really like this one. Um, the uh, I don't As far as the uh, astromech droids, uh, I really like how they're uh, put together with their uh, simple kind of like technique pieces. I think this is like a 2x2 two two barrel that's modified has these Technic pins, and then these 1x2 uh, modified with Technic pins, and then the little dome head. And uh, they come in several different types. Um, this one has uh, back printing on the head. I'm not sure if uh, all of them are this detailed. I know maybe some of them, I think, have uh, printing on the back also. And uh, uh, also, uh, I don't really have any other uh, versions of R2-D2 to uh, see the version differences, but I believe uh, the head printing on this one is different with the uh, silver or this uh, darker silver here and then the dark blue for his face. And then uh, finally we'll look at the uh, Jedi Interceptor itself. Now this is the uh, 2014 version. Um, this is very similar to a couple of different iterations that we've seen uh, Lego has released over the years. Uh, I think there's been one that was like a dark green uh, version of the same thing. Now I got an extra little Rebel insignia here. I think it only is supposed to come with one. But if we look at it, um, it's got some very nice angles to it. Uh, both all these fins here uh, fold up and down uh, as if it were like landing. And then also the main uh, the main part of it here, uh, both wings are on little ratcheting parts and they also could lay down flat if it wanted to. Now, it's a little bit difficult to do it, but the uh, main canopy part opens, and it also shows um, a little spot here to put the uh, lightsaber right behind Anakin, and it also fits with it when it's all closed. Now, um, some of these, uh, you'll notice that some of these are missing some of their uh, printed, or no, actually some of their stickered pieces uh, applied, and I just didn't really go through all the trouble to do it. Um, I've got mine standing on uh, these... Uh, two, uh, no, it's actually three two-by-four uh, green bricks here just to give it some kind of stand height um, because with those, with it being angled down and with these fins, it kind of, it makes it really kind of difficult to sit it flat. So for viewing, for better viewing angle, I'll usually set it up like that. Um, this one also contains the uh, newer style uh, uh, these would be the spring-loaded launchers here on the bottom in uh, the gr in the transparent green, and they uh, they do fire pretty fast. I'm not sure if these uh, if they will change those over time, but uh, yeah, definitely. I really uh, really enjoyed this set. Um, when uh, when I saw the set was coming out, I definitely wanted to add it to my collection of um, spaceships and spaceship parts and other things like that. Uh, you know, uh, just really, I mean. I think Lego did a really good job of it. I think they've updated uh, some crucial parts. I think that 
definitely the build construction of some of the uh, earlier iterations of this that we've seen have not been so structurally sound. Um, maybe the wings and the uh, ratcheting assembly, I think they've doubled it up on each side now. So there's, I think, four on each side. Just makes it a whole lot uh, better for uh, better for model integrity and then also for uh, play for younger kids. And uh, But yeah, be sure to uh, leave a comment and uh, tell us what you think. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, and you'll definitely be seeing more reviews coming from us very soon. And you guys have a great day.